Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing my hutch for Halloween. So I'm gonna take all this off and I'm gonna redecorate it. And I can't wait for you to see how it turns out. So if you're excited to see how this turns out, make sure to keep watching. Also, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload a video. So let's get on to the video. So as you can see, I left a couple of pieces, which is my plates, this, um, what is this thing called? Um, cake stand, these little vintage bottles, as well as some vintage bottles down on the bottom, and some little items over here. And this is because this is my staple pieces. These are the pieces that I use all year round. So all I do is just take them off, dust them off, clean down the whole cabinet, and then put them back. So I already did that, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, and this is the Target Dollar Spot um, spider web. I keep forgetting how to talk for some reason, guys. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start draping it down. Okay, so I went ahead and I put some of the spider web. I don't want that much because I don't want it to overpower the hutch. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these bottles. These are from the 99 cents only. I have, I've been having these for about two years now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one right there. And one right here. And then I have, this is a little DIY I made me using um, the little Dollar Tree pumpkins that they had this year. And as you can see, I made a double-sided one for Thanksgiving and one for Halloween. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. And then of course, guys, you can't go wrong with a little bit of Ray done. So we're gonna put it right on top. And then I have this little plate. This little plate is from Michael's, but a friend of mine actually sent me this. So I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate this down on the bottom. And then I have the best witches little sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here in the corner and I will be giving you an overview and I do need to fix the spider web. I have two pumpkins. One, they're both gonna go on the sides. Okay, and then I have my little whole DIY Hocus Pocus book. And I'm gonna put it right under my right done. And then guys, I made this little wreath. It says boo, I made it over in my Instagram and all I did was use one of the mini Dollar Tree wreath forms, um, one of their Dollar Tree scarves and a little a random book that I had just laying around and I just wrote the word boo. So this is gonna go up here. little LED candle and I'm gonna put it right there just so when it's nighttime it looks like there's fire in there and then guys I love to incorporate these little brass candle holders so these I've purchased them at thrift stores at garage sales I always find them in good deals guys so I'm just gonna incorporate just because I feel like they look old so they look a little spooky I'm just gonna incorporate three of them I have um, these little potion bottles so these are from dollar tree and as you can see still have the sticker on it and 
And then last but not least, I am going to be adding two little black um, cauldrons. These are from Target Dollar Spot last year. And I'm gonna put them next to the big cauldron. And now I'm just gonna simply fix the spider web and then we're done. And I'll show you an overview once we're done. my hutch for Halloween. I am loving the spooky vibe and the simplicity of it. So I'm really feeling simplicity this year for some reason. Um, but I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it was a short and sweet. So give it a thumbs up and have a great day, everybody.